Welcome to the Positive Side. I'm your host, Roy Garibaldi. And yes, we're going to bring you a little bit of life, sports, and entertainment. You know, thanks to the Scottsdale Charles, we're here on their sky deck at Scottsdale Stadium where spring training is happening at its very best. You know, throughout the years, I meet a rock star. He wants to be a professional athlete. But when you meet a professional athlete, he wants to get on stage and be a rock star. And that's exactly what we're doing tonight with Jake Peavy and Wood Jock. Thank you so much for coming, man. This is awesome. Are you kidding me? very often you see me get excited after covering entertainers and athletes all over all these years but how about four World Series rings and a Grammy nomination last night at rehearsal Bernie Williams blew my mind buddy you can flat right play on the field on the stage it doesn't matter oh thank you so much man I, I had a little secret though I went to a performing arts high school when I was a little kid really I was a, a freshman in high school I spent four years in that school and then the opportunity to play baseball professionally came, and I, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't put it aside. So I uh, started playing uh, in the minor leagues, you know, right after high school. But I always kept music. Uh, I always kept playing music. So I mean, it's something that is very important in my life as well. <laughs> nomination we talk about you not only four World Series rings you went to the World Series six times but a Grammy nomination what was that feeling like uh, first of all I didn't believe it though at first you know I thought they were you know they were like uh, uh, trying to pull my leg but uh, actually it's a, a Latin Grammy nomination that was uh, uh, from my album uh, called moving forward which came out uh, last April uh, and uh, you know, we had a great production, you know, a, a killer band playing behind me, you know, mo mo most of the compositions, uh, almost all the compositions are original tunes, and uh, we got a little uh, reharmonization of Take Me Out to the Ball Game and all that stuff, but uh, I mean, it, it's a, it was a great experience, and it's, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's a really weird. With six World Series appearances, four championships, I don't want to say that you get the jitter sometime, but obviously when you hear that that anthem and everything that goes on around a World Series, you do get a little jittery. Everybody does. But when you're on stage, do you compare it? Is it any different? Or are you in your own little element up there? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, you know, baseball, uh, it's uh, very interesting in the sense that you could go out there and do your business, you know, and then go throw the ball, hit the ball, and, and do whatever, and you don't have to interact you with the... You make it sound so easy. You know, you know, but, but you don't have to said. interact with the crowd, yeah. though. As long as you are, you know, completely focused on your game, and, uh, you know, you, you take care of your business, you don't really have to interact with the fans. As a performer in, in music, you know, being on stage, you know, playing with your band and playing with your music, you have to engage the crowd, you have to talk about the songs, you know, you have to invite them into your world, you know, you have to be a, a you can't just go out there and play the sure. songs and just, sure. you know, shut up. You know, we've watched Bernie Williams over the years as a performer on the field, but I don't think a lot of us realize how talented he was off the field. Well, when off the field becomes the closing of your career, what do you do then? Well, for Ben Brazard, he has the answers. He's not only a talented musician, he's also a songwriter.
square of freedom The place I take a escape A self-inducing pain I soothe my brittle bone One of the things I will tell you about Ben, when he is on stage, he is performing as if he has been performing, like say, you know, maybe uh, Garth Brooks or maybe, uh, you know, Montgomery Gentry, anything like that. You actually handle yourself as if you've been on stage performing your whole life and never were a professional athlete. Seriously. I guess those are some good names you compare me to. Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, yeah, I'm real comfortable when I'm playing my guitar. So when I get up there, it's- So you feel at home then? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't feel nervous and I, you know, I think maybe because of baseball too, you know, you learn how to kind of control your nerves and just go up there and you know do your best I mean that's all you can do if, if it doesn't work out then you know there's always tomorrow in baseball music's a little different you know <laughs> But what's the sand of the first side? Flash a thought, but we know it's right. But what's the sand hurts so long? I get around your love. Yeah, third, third grade, I, I learned this talent where I learned to beatbox. Parents, parents moved me to a school, a new school. I was, a, I was the only white kid in my class, and it was one of those things where uh, every day during recess, you know, people would freestyle and beatbox, and one day I just busted into their circle and told them I wanted to bust a beat and they let me and, and then after that I was the kid for the rest of the year and so I got this weird talent from third grade that I do now when I play the guitar. You blew them away though, didn't you? Back then. I guess maybe just because I had courage, I walked right up, you know, and you know, I was maybe 20 kids in there and I didn't know anybody and, and they were really good at what they were doing and I just I just went for it. Well, as you can see, this is what spring training is all about to us. Coming to Arizona and getting some good sunshine and some great baseball. But what do the players do when they go home? Well, for some of these players during spring training, it was all about going to rehearsal the night before that big performance with Jake Peavy and Wood Jock. He was looking for a soul steal. He was in a box, he was way behind. He was looking to make a deal. When he came across this young man's song, a film he playing it hot. Double jumped up on the hooker's thumb and said, boy, let me tell you what. I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player, too. And if you care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Now, you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give the devil his due. I got a fiddle gold against your soul, so I'm better than you. Boy, it's my name Johnny, but it might be a sin. And I'll take your bet you're going to regret, because I'm the best as ever been. The devil opened up his case and he paid the door to start the show. And fire flew from his fingertips and rotten up his bow. Made an evil hit and bounced in his hand and sounded just like this. 